Hi guys, happy Tuesday and welcome back to my channel, Couponing with Kayla. So we are outside of the Walmart. We're about to head in here and check out some deals. I'm gonna walk you through the deals in the store. Plus I'll have a printable list below the video so you can print that out, take it to the store with you and it's gonna help make your shopping trip super easy. And once we get done, we'll go over the receipt, talk final cost of everything we're picking up today. If you're completely new to my channel, welcome. Thank you so much for being here. And if you enjoy the video, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up as well as hit that red subscribe button below and the notification bell so you don't miss any new ones. Now I do have an Ibotta bonus, but I may not complete that today. Mine is 18 offers for $5, which that's not bad, but I just, I'm not seeing as many offers to complete that for 18. Now there could be other offers that pop up in the week that make that really easy for you to complete. So definitely let me know in the comments if you're working on a bonus, trying to complete anything like that. So I was gonna tell you guys, <laughs> Um, it's been kind of a crazy week, you know, on Sunday, I, it's, and it's only Tuesday, um, <laughs> I post my Walgreens and CVS hauls on Sundays, so we did that, you know, or I did that on Sunday, and then, you know, it's Father's Day and all of that, so I was kind of just trying to do, you know, spend the rest of the afternoon with family and, you know, just my husband and I and the kids, and... So most of you know, back in November, Axel, he broke his arm. Um, so that was, you know, a whole thing. It was kind of just crazy. He literally wasn't jumping on the bed, wasn't doing anything, rolled off the bed, bam. You know, it was just like a crazy thing. Of all the stuff he does, you, <laughs> you wouldn't think that that would be the way you'd break a bone if he was going to. So anyways, um, you know, that all healed up after a little while. So on Sunday evening, I was in the bathroom. I walked in there to put actually like toilet paper rolls inside this new toilet um, paper organizer that I got. So I walk in there to do that. I had just helped Axel put on his new sandals. He wanted to put those on. Um, and then the next thing I know, like two seconds later, um, I hear him kind of like almost crying, almost yelling for me. And I turn around, like I'm standing in the bathroom, I turn around and he's coming through the doorway, holding his head and you know, there's just so much that you know, you're just like, oh my gosh, what happened? What's wrong? You know, so I'm, I'm holding his head and um, we go out into um, like the foyer area and I'm like, oh my gosh, you know, Chloe like comes around the corner because she was in the kitchen and she's like, what's happening? So anyways, um, long story short, I tell her like, get daddy. So like he's, he's right outside. So, um, she gets him and I tell her get paper towels. So I'm trying to stop the bleeding and I'm trying to figure out like where it's like coming from, how bad it is, all of that. So I'm like, what happened? What happened? You know? And he tells me that he was running. Yes, you know, I know. And I don't know if the new shoes, you know, could be slick, could have contributed to it because it's a hardwood floor. But he said he was running towards the dining room and then he fell and he hit his head on the bottom of the table. And he said, at first I thought that my hair was just right here and I went to wipe it and then I realized and, I, you know, he was crying because, you know, it it's gonna be scary if there's that much, you know. I don't know what you can and can't say on YouTube. So that's why I'm not like, you know, saying that a lot. But anyways, so, um, yes, long story short, he ended up cutting his head. Um, we got the bleeding to stop, but we went ahead, took him to the ER just to make sure that he was okay. Um, they were able to fix it up without doing stitches. Um, they kind of pulled the cut together and used, I think it was called Dermabond or something like that. It's a type of glue um, and put little things on it. So it should heal in seven to 10 days, she said. Um, so that, it didn't end up being too bad. And if you know Axel, <laughs> you watch my videos a lot. He has a personality <laughs> like, like no other. And he was making jokes um making you know the nurse laugh like when the nurse was checking him in he was talking to him and um he was making him laugh and then he made the doctor laugh and 
all of that so I mean he's in good spirits he is like back to normal like nothing happened um yeah so anyways I just wanted to tell you guys kind of like a you know the craziness that's been going on so I'm gonna run in here really quick do a few quick deals and then um and then head back home but yes, I'm just thankful that he's okay because that was so scary. You know, if you, you ever had where your child gets hurt, you know, and it's just like a scary, scary moment. Um, so I'm just so thankful that he's okay. And I know you guys are here for the deal not to listen to me ramble on, but I wanted to share that with you guys. I share a lot with you guys. You see my kids a lot in my videos because they're with me pretty much 99% of the time. <laughs> so um, anyways, we're going to go ahead. We're going to head in store, see what deals we can pick up and then go over the receipt once we get back to the house. <laughs> All right guys, so first up we have a repeat deal over here in the travel section or in the trial and travel section. You can pick up the Old Spice. One is $1.56 and one is 97 cents, so that's $2.53 for both. Over on Shopkick, you can get 1,125 kicks, which is $4.50 back, making this free and a $1.97 moneymaker. So an awesome way to cover some of the other items that you're picking up this week. Next up, we're going to grab the Dove product. So we're going to grab one of the Dove Kids Hair Care. We're going to grab this one for $6.98. Then you can grab the Dove Amplified. I'm going to grab this leave-in conditioner for $6.64. You can grab any of these, but this is one of the cheapest options. So both of these are going to total me $13.62. If you scan each one in the store, you get 60 scan kicks each. So that's 120 scan kicks. Then you get 2,500 buy kicks for purchasing these. So that means means you're getting back 1048 on uh, Shopkick. That is going to make these 314 for both or just $1.57 each, which is huge savings. Next up, we're going to grab some of the Sensodyne Nourish Toothpaste. So I always like to get a deal on Sensodyne when I can. My husband just likes this kind. Um, so it's $6.47 on Shopkick between Scan and Buy Kicks, 715 kicks that equals $2.86 and on Ibotta they're giving $2 back so it'll make it $1.61 if you don't have any coupons. I forgot to check and see if there are any printables so you may be able to check their site and get a printable to get it for cheaper. Next up if you need the Clorox fabric sa uh, sanitizer this one is $4.34. We have $1.50 back on Ibotta and $1.50 back on Swagbucks makes it $1.34 for one of those if you want to go ahead and pick it up. So our next deal is the Snuggle Dryer Sheet. Super, super easy deal, $1.97. We are gonna use a $1.50 coupon. It just came in this past Sunday's paper. So it would make one of these just 47 cents for a 40 count. So not too bad if you wanna go ahead and grab this deal. Next, I'm gonna grab the Clorox Centivia. So this is $3.98. So we have a Swagbex rebate for $1.50 and then an Ibotta rebate for $1.25. It would make this $1.23. So that is a pretty good deal, but I'm going to go ahead and grab one other offer and we're going to pair them up together for an Ibotta bonus. But this one, it smells pretty good. It has a little scratch and sniff sticker on it. So I am definitely going to pick up this scent because I've not gotten it before. Next, we're going to grab these Clorox Scentivia um, disinfecting mopping wipes. These are $4.84, $1.50 back on Ibotta, and $1.50 back on Swagbucks. So it would make it $1.84 if you were just buying this one. But if you're buying both of these products, you're going to get a $0.50 cent bonus on Ibotta for buying both. So it makes the final cost $2.57 for both of these. I think that's a great deal. It makes them like $1.20 something each. Next, we're gonna grab some of the Clorox um, toilet bowl cleaner. This is $2.28. This actually is the one I like to get the cleaning bleach kind. So we get $1.50 back on Swagbucks for this, making it just 78 cents. Super, super easy deals on Swagbucks. And if you're not signed up yet, I do have links for all of the rebate apps below in the description box. Next, we're doing an awesome deal. It's a free lunch deal. So if you Google like Cheez-It lunch deal, you can find this. So we're gonna grab the Cheez-It Snapped for 316. 
Then when you grab some bread or cheese, things like that, you're gonna get those items for free up to $5. So we're gonna go ahead and pay for these, but I'm gonna show you what items I'm gonna pick up to go with this deal. So it says on the rebate, okay, sorry guys. So it says on the rebate, you can get cheese or meat. It says cheese and or meat. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna pick up the Sargento Creamery cheese because we also have a 75 cent. I bought a rebate for this. It's actually gonna save us even more. I'm gonna grab that. Next, I'm gonna grab some bread. So you can grab any kind you want. I'm getting this one, it's 208. This is the kind I normally buy, but you can definitely grab a different kind for a cheaper option. So over here, we have several brands. Like if you wanna get the Great Value brand, I believe it's only a dollar. So that could be a cheaper option for you, but we're gonna go ahead and look at my scenario with these products. All right, guys, so if you're looking at the cheese it snaps we're paying for those but you get a max value of five dollars back on your other items so you can get bread and then cheese and or meat so between my two products i'm at 546 not including the cheese it snaps so if i get five dollars back as the max value that means those cost me 46 cents but i'm also getting 75 cents on ibotta so it's basically like getting the cheese it snap the bread and the cheese all for about 287 after that five dollar rebate and the 75 cent rebate all right guys, so we're about to head over to checkout. I'll have that Cheese It rebate linked below in the description box as well as the printable list and the rebate apps, but we're gonna go ahead and head over to self-checkout and see what our final cost is gonna be. All right guys, so I'm doing the bread and Cheese It deal on one receipt by itself just to make it easier to scan in. So this is everything else we're getting. I am scanning in my $1.50 Snuggle coupon, and that's the only paper coupon I'm using today. So I'm gonna go ahead and hit pay, and then you can donate if you wanna do that. We're not gonna do it on this transaction, and then it'll ask you to insert your coupon. guys so we are back in the car from walmart so as you saw in the store no coupon beeps i only had one paper coupon i was using on today's haul so it went through just fine we're gonna go ahead we're gonna head home look over this receipt and talk final cost of everything we picked up today all right guys so i am back home and this is my walmart haul for this week so not a huge haul but i feel like we got some good items got some food got some dove hair care and also got lots of cleaning products plus that sensodyne toothpaste that is not always very cheap so we're going to go ahead we are going to go over the receipts and talk final cost so the first receipt i'm going to go over with you guys is the one that i did on the bread the cheese and the cheese it snapped for that rebate so on this deal right here, if you look on my receipt, you can see my total before tax was $8.62. So of course you can figure in your tax depending on how much it is in your area. So $8.62 is how much these three items was costing me. Now we are submitting for that rebate for $5 back and that is the maximum amount they're gonna give you on that rebate. Now they don't give you a rebate for the Cheez-Its, but when you buy the Cheez-Its, you get a rebate for your bread and cheese and or meat, it says. So if you wanna get lunch meat instead of cheese, you could do it that way. If you wanna get both, you could do it that way, depending on how much each item you're picking up is, you may be able to get it all in that $5 rebate. So between my bread and my cheese, my total was $5.46. So I'm getting five of that back which puts us at 46 cents for the two, which is great. But don't forget we have the I bought a rebate for 75 cents on this. So for that, if we're looking at it, okay, if these two are costing us 46 cents plus the cost of the um, Cheez-Its, it would put us at 362 and then we get that other 75 cents back on Ibotta. So really the final cost for all three items is about 287, which I think is a pretty good deal. You could come out cheaper probably if you get a different bread or a different cheese. Um, you could even get those really cheap packs of lunch meat if you wanted to do something like that. But I just went ahead and went with this one because I think they're gonna give you back the amount of the items you bought. So for example, if your items are less than $5, you're probably gonna get less than $5 from my understanding anyways. I could be wrong on that but went ahead and got that so i could kind of max out the value of that deal so that was that one then everything else i did on one receipt together 
And so you can see right here on my receipt, very short receipt today, it was $34.19. I only used $1.50 coupon and you can see it right there coming off of those snuggle dryer sheets. So that right there I paid with my PayPal debit card. Then I started submitting over to the rebate apps. Now on the rebate apps on Swagbucks, which it looks a little different when you scan in your receipt now to Swagbucks. I was kind of surprised it normally has that little bunny that pops up and it's like, yay, you know, if you get your, um, your Swagbucks and all that, or it looks disappointed if you didn't. So, um, anyways, we got back four fifty two on Swagbucks between all those Clorox products that we were getting plus the two cents for any receipt. So four fifty two there. And then, um, over on... Let's see here, over on Shopkick, we got back between the scan kicks in the store and the buy kicks, we got back 4,470 kicks. We'll multiply that by 0 0.004. That means that we're getting back $17.88 for all of the deals over there on Shopkick, which was the Dove, um, and then the Sensodyne, and the Old Spice. I think that was all of them. So pretty good savings there. Now also um, we submitted over to Ibotta. Now on Ibotta I got back a total of $5.25. So on there we had the um, Clorox products. Each of those were giving back I bought a rebate set for the toilet cleaner. Then I had the Sensodyne on there. And I think that was it. Very minimal, you know, rebates there. But I got that bonus for the two Clorox Centivia. Um, so that was $5.25 back there on Ibotta. Then I scanned both of my receipts to fetch rewards. But didn't have any specific bonuses for those. But I did get $0.10 cents back between the two receipts. So that's not bad. At least we're getting something back there. So if we're looking at everything together between both receipts, my total was $42.81 after getting back our $5 rebate for the lunch deal with the Cheez-Its, getting back the $5.25 on Ibotta on one receipt and $0.75 cents on Ibotta on the other, $0.10 cents from Fetch Rewards, the $17.88 on the Shopkick deal, and the $4.52 over on Swagbucks. That brought our final cost for everything that you see right here down to $9.00 and 31 cents which is definitely not bad for all of these products just one of those dove normally costs like 6.98 <laughs> and there is apollo he can't can't go without getting in a video <laughs> he loves being in my videos he like will come and just lay right here so anyways guys that's everything that i picked up let me know in the comments below if you're going to grab any of these same deals i appreciate you guys so so much for watching and i will see you in the next one. Bye guys!